Well, today the governor and the state bonding commission gave the green light to borrowing hundreds of millions more dollars for the Q Bridge project and many more. It's what's being called the Fix It First program aimed at making improvements to the transportation system before it's too late. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with details on what amounts to more than a billion dollars in spending. Mark. That's right. Hi, Sonia and Don. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford newsroom. Yeah, with the governor in charge, the commission gave the rubber stamp today to over 500 million in state spending, which will leverage another 600 million from the feds. Part of the huge amount of funding approved today goes to pay for the continuation of the Q Bridge I-95 New Haven Harbor Crossing Corridor and for the other major I-95 bridge projects. The three major projects that are underway are the Q Bridge and the, and the uh, Moses Wheeler Bridge and the West River Bridge. In a program called Fix It First, the new cash will also pay for widening I-84 from Southington to Waterbury, a new interchange on 84 in Danbury, improvements to 95 in Groton, 84 in Vernon, and on the parkway in Stratford and Milford. The program also includes the restoration of more than 40 bridges on state highways. Millions more is included for a completely new railroad signaling system on the New Haven line to replace the existing one that is more than 100 years old. It will also include what's called a positive train control safety system, something railroaders could only dream about 100 years ago. To protect uh, trains that would be on the same track from colliding uh, with an automatic stop system. The governor and the DOT estimate that over the next four to five years that all this spending should help to reduce the unemployment rate in the construction trades, currently estimated at over 30%. We expect that uh, more than $1 billion in state and federal funding combined will create or retain nearly 20,000 construction-related jobs. Now, the governor says uh, for the near future, the existing taxes on gasoline will cover all of this borrowing. Most of this borrowing goes over the next 10 to 20 years, depending on which bond you're talking about. Uh, in the meantime, a special study commission has been established to look into other funding mechanisms for these kind of projects in the future, a study that has to include the possible return of tolls. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, I'm Mark Davis. Now back to another young fella, Don Lark. Thank you, young man. We are curious, what do you have to say about this or anything else you've seen in our newscast? Let us know. Call our Voice of the People hotline at 203-212-WTNH and leave us a message.